Hey, Washington football fam. So you read the title. I think with one of our last roster spots or even a practice squad spot, we should grab Canadian football player Ben Hladik. Now, this guy is a freak athlete. He didn't play any ball down here. He only played up in Canada, but... This is a guy we can mold into something at least serviceable. I mean, an athlete this good, taught by Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio, can make it happen. So Ben's 6'4", 240 pounds. He's got 32-inch arms, 29 reps on the bench, 36-inch vert, 107 broad jump. He ran a 4 a 4.19 shuttle. He ran the Devils three cone with a 666. And he had a laser timed 40. It's not questionable like normal pro day 40s. This was a laser timed 40 of 455. That boosts him up to a RAS score that ties Jamin Davis, our first round pick as the 8th highest RAS score at linebacker since 2010. Puts him right ahead of Shaka Tony, who's another exciting prospect we have on the team. And that puts him ahead of some, some pretty impressive guys that have come out in recent years. It's got a bunch, a couple first-rounders here. Like, it's ahead of Kenneth Murray, who was a 988. He had a four five two forty, but everything else kept him behind uh Ben here. Then you had TJ Watt that was a nine point nine two RES score, still behind Ben. You had Leonard Floyd, who was another first round pick, nine eight one, and then Ryan Chazier, he was a legend before he got hurt. He was a 988. So Ben's a better athlete than all these great prospects. He's an explosive athlete on the field up in Canada. He was the defensive quarterback for the BCT Birds. He had solid production through three years. He had 189 tackles, 30 tackles for loss. Five and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, seven fumble recom- recoveries. Like this guy, I mean, he found a way to get the ball back. He had one interception, five pass deflections, all that in 28 games. He had pretty good production. And being the quarterback of his defense, he handles leadership well, he understands the position well. But being from Canada, he just hasn't had access to as high-level coaching as he would have had here. And being a freaky athlete like him, I think he's the perfect candidate to come to Washington for that upgrade. Usually, I wouldn't be a fan of this, like, almost old-school Oakland Raiders style, a quest for super athletes. But I just think he's got raw potential mixed with some of the necessary mental makeup to thrive in Washington. I believe 100% Ron and Jack, the whole coaching staff, I think they can turn these, these freak athletes into great linebackers. I think we still have a little bit of a need at the position. I'm really excited about what's going to happen with Jamin and Shaka already. So, this guy could be a great addition. We've already showed this year we kind of have a willingness to look north for some prospects. I mean, St. Juice played here, but he's a Canadian. We went and got him. Then we had the uh, CFL draftees, Lacumbo and Bandy. Like, they were supposed to come to try out many camps, but sadly, because somebody had COVID, 
nobody gets to come now from for the tryouts. I mean, we still got our rookies and everything coming, but nobody gets to try out. But this, but Ben Hladik, I think this guy is a crazy enough prospect that we could just sign him to the practice squad to develop at, at worst. If we don't give him a roster spot, we could sign him straight there. We don't have to worry about trying this guy out. Have faith in our coaching staff that we can develop this guy. We'll have him for little or no money. Like This is a guy that is a very similar physical specimen to our first round pick. Now, I know athleticism isn't everything, but he seems to have, like, seeing the little bit of footage I've seen on his game, he seems to know what he's doing out there. And, like I said, with the low-level coaching that he's probably dealt with in Canada, I mean, it's not that big of a sport up there, so he could come here and get some sage-like wisdom from... You know, linebacking gurus, Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio. Jack Del Rio, he's the same guy that that slapped that, you know, 2000 Ravens defense, their linebackers in the shape. He was a linebacker coach there. These guys know how to coach linebackers. So if you bring in, we already have two physical freaks. Adding a guy like this for free, basically, he's not going to make any money. And nobody's called him up yet, so I don't think anybody's going to be yanking him off the practice squad at worst. We can have a terrifying linebacker group developing for years to come. Like, this would be three. You got Jamin, Tony, and Haladic. They would be three out of the top four best athletes at the linebacker position in this draft class. Now, that's 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 a scary concept for opposing defenses. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put some stuff up, kind of compare these uh, these RAS scores. I mean, there's 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 a a, a pretty good correlation between high athlete types and success. So I think, I mean, it's worth a shot. Throw this guy in the mix and let it roll. But yeah, like I said, free freak prospect. Let me know what y'all think down below. Like the video if you liked it. Comment. Subscribe if you listen to it. I love y'all. Peace.